Right, Josh, you're a mid handicapper. I have a Ricky Fowler blade in my hand. Just go in it now, mate. Just go in it. You set me up. Just go and hit that. Setting me up. This thing is the biggest blade you have ever seen. Fair play, mate. Fair play. That is I mean, not too bad at all. I'm not sure I could do that consistently, <laughs> but I'll take it. Go on, how far did that go? 195, get it in the bag. Tell get you it what, in the bag. Like, look at the state of this. Now, I actually can't believe I used to game this thing. This is the butter knife, this is the four iron. These literally have to be the hardest things I have ever seen to hit. And to be fair, I actually think these probably ruined Ricky Fowler's career. Yeah, That's a bold you, statement. The thing is with it as well is, it looks bad enough there, but it's when it's down on the floor, Yeah, it's even worse. Like, yeah. you've, you've got to be so confident to try and hit that. And I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to say that now. I was not expecting that. So don't expect that to carry right. on. If these beat yours, will you put them in the bag? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were lying to fair, mate. 195, that's pretty impressive. I will actually crease myself if these things are better than yours. Because look at them. Like, actually, I'm still getting over the fact that I actually got fitted for these and I used them. Like, look at the state of that four iron. How thin even the bottom of the club is. I feel like I have to take some blame for this as well. The yeah, you, you, you definitely goaded me into it. I was egging this. you on, wasn't I? <laughs> definitely goaded me into it. So we're putting to the test today, Josh, <laughs> oh God. which are these here. And these are the, have a look at them there. They're the forged tech. Now these are hollow headed irons. And what you'd probably say, like look at them there. They're very similar, aren't they? In terms of like the back design. You would say this is the forgiving equivalent, I would say. Yeah, it, they definitely are more forgiving. Yes, 100%. Now we're going to test Josh with hitting a nine iron, a seven iron and a four iron. Get his averages. And he's already just said if he plays better with them, he's gaming them. <laughs> like, come have a look at these down at the ball. I think because you just showed that before, but like, look at the difference. I mean, that Ricky Fowler iron, this one here has literally zero offset, whereas yours has a nice bit of offset. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's the top line too. That's the thing, isn't it? It's, it's the, the top line. It's being able to look at it and think, do you know what, I'm going to be able to hit this. It's yeah. so thin that, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know how I did that. <laughs> I'll be impressed, honestly, mate, if you could do this more. So, I'm going to set a benchmark. I want to go with Josh's irons first, the Forge Tech, 9 iron, 7 iron, 4 iron. I'm going to let him loose on these babies and see, actually, if a mid handicap golfer can use some blades. Well, clearly, at the minute, he can. One of one's all right, isn't it? Thin to win. Bit thin. thin to win. To be fair though, mate, thin to win, how far has that gone? 146. See, that. this is the thing that I'm thinking. Exactly. If you did that with the, with the Ricky Fowler. And that's the thing, it's the forgivingness of these irons. Let me just uh, give that a quick. Mate, your, your clubs are always dirty. You look at the state yeah, of them. I know. You're not even clean. Why them are you exposing the video. me on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, final one away, and then we'll give the average of what you hit your nine iron. Right, mate, so your averages for 99, 152.6. So we'll, we'll round that up for you, mate, 153, <laughs> 153. Now, interestingly, right, your 99 is 39 degrees, which is fairly strong for a 99, but that's what we'd expect, right? Yes. Because they are a hollow-headed iron. They are, I'm not going to say the game improvement irons, but they sort of sit between like a muscle back and the game improvement category. Exactly. And you played some of your best golf with these. Yes. Okay, so we're now time to hit some seven irons, get some averages of your forged tech. And these are 29.5 degrees. Now, it's important that we sort of take note of these degrees of loft because obviously the Ricky Fowlers are weaker. And will that affect the overall distance? Or was Josh just a pure ball striker? <laughs> Probably not that. <laughs> Might be, mate. Might be. Don't do yourself out of it. Don't do yourself out of it. Right, mate. So we're on your seven iron. To show people your seven iron here, let's have a look at this. Oh my god, mate. I do actually this clean. Fair, fair, <laughs> it's not fair. too bad. I've just given it a wipe. So these are your forged techs. Yes. And do you know what? I've absolutely loved playing these irons. Um, these are second lot of forged techs that I've had, but the first, the first ones weren't the hollow-headed ones. No. Um, They're the black ones, weren't they? They were black one lengths. And do you know what? I've played some of the best golf, like you said before. I've played some of the best golf with these irons, and it's because, and we're going to talk about this, the the forgiveness of them. I think. Yeah. So we'll hit the first one, and then I'll talk you through my thoughts on it if I hit a good one. Anyway. <laughs> Fair play, mate. That is ripped. You aiming at the 150? Yeah. No. 
200. At 200? Right, he's gone. See what, my eyes! Oh! <laughs> mate, I thought that was the 150, fair play. So that's gone 192, apparently. Um, Jesus! This is the thing with these irons, is they are so forgiving that even if you catch them slightly off centre, you tend to still get a nice ball flight. Yeah. And they go roughly where you're aiming. Do you know what I mean? There's not like a big, if I tow it, it's not massively left, or yeah. if I heel it, it's not massively right. They are very, very forgiving in that sense. Now, just before you hit another one, do you not find though, like I, I thought this, like 192 for a 7 iron is obscenely yeah. long. And one thing that I found with the irons was that sometimes, like, I'd hit one and I'd get one that goes like, bing! See ya, exactly. and it wouldn't come down. Exactly, I would never play a 7 iron at 192, never. No. But they have the potential to do that. So whilst they are really good and really forgiving, they, that can counter, have a counter yeah, issue. How often do you hit the middle? All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hit another one, we'll get some averages with this. Nice. Now, do you not think they go quite high? I think they go very high. I think, that, and that's the difference that I saw between these and the previous ones I had. Do you like the fact they go high though? Yes, because especially with like the, the short ride, so seven, eight, nine, where I'm playing into greens, if I get the right number, yeah. it's a lot easier to obviously stop the ball the, with it being a higher shot. I mean, that one's gone 175, so a it's little a bit shorter. That. It is a big difference, and that's that's potentially the problem with these irons, but that's probably around the shot that I would play with these. That's probably more realistic. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm not saying it was off centre. <laughs> <laughs> one more away. Now, what do we make of Josh's swing as a mid handicap golfer? He's like the biggest bandit you could ever yeah. have in your, well, in, in, your, in your team. But one thing you'll see in these videos that there are elements of Josh's game that aren't as good, which you can probably all relate to. Sorry, mate, for digging you We're out. We're not even really putting, are we? No, no, no. <laughs> this man cannot put. Strikes it like a pro. Puts like a. Well, let, we'll leave you to fill that bit in down here. Tell you what, You're buzzing that you hit that well. 189, absolutely buzzing with this. Right, so Josh is now on to his four iron. Yes. Now, I actually think that's these not four, my four irons. Iron, that's oh, my seven you've, iron. You've just, you're trying to swindle me here. Yeah. <laughs> four iron. <laughs> <laughs> but look, put that four iron down at the ball. Like, because I think, like, one thing that I'd say most people would say about these four irons here, that top line, this thing here, like, it, it, yes, a four iron is hard. I'm not saying that. This is the thing, this is why I enjoy these clubs because it is quite inviting. I don't look at it and think, like I did with the uh, the Ricky Fowlers. Oh God, like, how <laughs> thin's that? It is. I actually can't wave you to hit these. Again. I think that was a bit of a fluke. Not not to dig I, you out, mate. Not to I think it was a bit of a fluke <laughs> as well. I'm quite pleased it was the first shot on the video, but I think that with these, again, we talked about before, the forgivingness of them, yeah. even in the way that they look, gives you that confidence. So. Right, you've talked these up, by the way. I know. This is a four iron, mate. It's not a seven iron anymore. <laughs> right. So right, we, need, right. we need four away, just set the benchmark of how far each of yours gone. Yep. And just to let people know, we're mentioning lofts here. The loft of yours is 21 degrees. Yes. Um, and I actually enjoy hitting this club quite a lot. I use it quite, go high? quite regularly. Uh, like it, the 7.9? Or does it go a bit lower? A little bit lower, but well, you'll see. You'll see. Right, let me just see if I can stripe it. Okay, ah, hit. A little bit toey, a little bit toe side. But you can see from the ball flight, whereas... How far did I go? 188, so you can see that it's not gone as far as I would expect it to. And however, with the ball flight, like we mentioned before, with that slightly off centre strike, it is forgiving. It wasn't a big wounded pigeon, as Alex would call it. It was a okay. slight little draw. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was a bit off the toe, was it? Just a little bit off the toe. Um, this is what I'm interested at, because like... As a mid handicapper, we need a little bit of help, but some Definitely. people go out and buy blades. It's like, why? And well, this is anyway, I don't know, maybe maybe why, but. Well, we'll see, won't we? Right, maybe, come on. Two more away, then we've got your on. averages dialed, mate. A oh. <laughs> no, little scuffy one? Yeah, another scuffy one. I can't hit them. Come on, get one in there. We need at least one good one. You've, the averages. So that's gone 143. You put the absolute pressure on me here. Okay, go and hit another one. We just need, we need three decent ones, so hit two more for me. There we go. That's better. That's better. That, see, that you can tell with these, you can that's, really tell the difference. That in sounded the sound. different, that. The sound, the feels, so that's yeah. gone 211. That's better. So let me hit. We'll hit, we'll hit, we'll hit, we'll hit you're hitting two more. One, hit one more, two more. One more. So you've hit the first one at one. First one, 188. Yeah, the second, second one, one was a we'll buffer, 143. That. 211. 211. And, and then this, this is the this final one. one. Pure, mate. Pure, and that's gone high as well. It, and you can, with these, you can really feel when you stripe it. I can feel that go. That's gone 214. 
So we've had 214, 211 and 188, with, which was a toe-sided sort of yeah. slight drawy one. Which so, you are capable of. Which I am capable of, <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, so let's set the averages. Let's give the reminder of what your averages for 9-iron were, give yes. the average for 7-iron and the average for 4-iron. Right, averages are in. So remind everybody, your average with your 9-iron was 153. Your average with your 7-iron was 185. And the impressive, you pulled it out of the bag there, I thought, oh God, we've done it here, we've done it here. Your average with your four iron, 21 degrees, was 204. Yeah, which I would say is about I, right. Yeah, because yeah, if you had like between 200 and 220, you would probably go four iron because there's going to be a bit of roll. Yeah. I know they went a bit higher there, but in general, it was a bit of roll. Exactly. So they're the benchmarks. Right, I'm going to grab <laughs> these now. I'm not so, looking forward to this. <laughs> this is the four iron you're going to hit. Here's me giving you crap on that. Look how dirty these are, by the way. They are absolutely pure, aren't they? They are, and, and that's... For YouTube, they're brilliant, aren't they? Like, they look great. <laughs> for general golf life, absolute garbage. No, they're not garbage. They're just... The, the things that I, I always say, say about, I'm going to find 7-9 here sometime. That's got to be 7-9. Seven 7-9. Nine. Seven nine. Um, they're like things that you, you, I probably should have just kept in the office. Yeah. Like, just because they look so nice. So, these are the ones that we're going to go loose on here. So... Have a look at the bottom of the clubs there. Nine iron, seven iron, four iron. Now, just to give you an idea, I was trying to remember what these loft differences are, but I can't. The nine iron on this one is 42 degrees compared to yours at 39 degrees. Yep. Big difference. Yep. Seven iron on this here is 34 degrees compared to yours at 29.5. Yeah. These go further, this would be quite interesting. Um, and the four iron is 24 degrees in these, the Ricky Fowlers, compared to yours at 21. So would you expect these to go shorter? I mean, I know when we, yeah, we like did the just fitting the loft. with them, with the fitting with them for you, it was it was more about almost control than it was about distance. Yeah, and, and I think the, the thing was with this, like you, you go for these for exactly that. Yeah. Not control in terms of like forgiveness control, yeah. but you know, like your dis real distances difference on, your seven iron and one where you hit like sort of 190, yeah. whatever it was. Yeah. Can't remind you of it. It's, it's 192, good. I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hit one like down at 170. Yeah. There's quite like a, a big span. You wouldn't see that. But then it's, I'm saying that thinking you probably would because if you towed the arse off this four iron, yeah. it wouldn't go very far. It wouldn't, no. Be... So it's time to go. So we'll go with Josh's. This is nine iron first. Just to give you an idea and perspective, where have you put your nine iron here, mate? This your nine? Yes, it is. That's a disgrace. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, just hit it off a mat. <laughs> disgrace. So that is the difference on the bottom. Like, look how thick this one is. Remember, these are hollow-headed irons. And again, we're going to remind you, like, these are pretty much like the forgiving equivalent. Different lofts, different top line. Come have a look at this top line here. This is the 9-iron versus 9-iron. This is what Josh is going to get lo let loose on in a second. Look at them. Right, do you think, guys, get down in the comments, are you a golfer who's a mid handicapper and you use something closer to a blade? Let me and Josh know. And also, don't forget, like, I am, me and Josh are powered by you, the viewers. We test exactly what you say down in the comments. So, anything you're thinking, yeah, you know what, I want to see how they get on with that. Or I want to see how good Josh or bad Josh is with something. Do you know what, I want to see Josh, Josh duff that. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Come on, gonna hit three nine nines again. We'll compare the distances. I honestly don't know which way this is gonna go. How you hit that first four, Ryan, was seriously impressive, mate. Please don't expect that. Please build don't. him up, build him up, build him up. <laughs> right, okay, Josh, so in your opinion, you ripped that first four, Ryan. Yeah. So pretty much saying mid handicap, I should use blades. <laughs> I don't think so. I think I think this is gonna be quite telling. Um, I think it's gonna expose my game a bit, but one thing I would say is it's about confidence, isn't it? I think if you've got if you're playing clubs like these, you've got to be confident. You've got to be confident that you're going to strike it. I think that first one, I just got up there and said, just got to hit it. Just got to hit it well. I think once you play with them and just if you a get into a player. Bit, what'd you say? Just a clutch player. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> once, you, once you get into them though, and, you, and you're playing them every week, that that's got to stay high because if it's not, you're in trouble. I feel. Yeah. I mean. Just current setup. We can maybe do a what's in the bag in another video. But that's what he's currently using. I'll clean him for that. I mean, we might lose a few followers because of that <laughs> thing right there. But <laughs> in fact, it's a big game this afternoon. We're Massive this. game. Right. Massive so, game. come on, hit the first one away. I'm dying to know your thoughts on this because yes. I'm anticipating a really high ball flight and one that goes shorter. Oh, scruffy hit. Yeah, scruffy hit. See straight away. I feel like it's not. 
It's definitely not gone as far. How far's that gone? 132. Okay, your and average is 153 yeah. with yours. And it, was, it wasn't it was a good strike, but you, you could tell they aren't as forgiving. That was a little sort of healy, bit bit fat. and. But the head size is obviously smaller. That's the thing, it's like... <laughs> And it, 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 it's not nearly half size, but it feels like it's nearly half yeah. size. It's the offset as well, which is different. Yeah. And do you not know think, I look down on that and think that the head like looks so lofty. It does. It looks like, it, it's almost like a wedge. Yeah, it like so compared open. to yours. Yeah. Okay, come on. Second ball away. Oh, you've ripped that. That's better, but look how high it's gone. That's gone seriously high. It has gone really high. It was a much better strike though, and it's gone very far. How far has it gone? It's gone 159. Which, again, I wouldn't expect, and that's... Maybe they can go in the back. Maybe they can go maybe in the back. But this is the thing, I, I think what you will see is, and maybe, we, we'll, maybe we'll get proved right or wrong as we go through this video, is that the, the bigger dispersion between good and bad yep. will be bigger. Yep. And also the average of good hits will be slightly shorter because yeah. of loft. But I agree. If, if you strike them out the middle every single time yeah. and you take loft off the club, then you could potentially still deliver the same club into the ball. That's the thing. I think the only thing is, is as a golfer, you have to be consistent. Yeah. Like, I've just proved that in two shots there. We've gone from 132 to 159. Right. We had 30 yards. So. <laughs> Holy jeez. <laughs> right. Poor ball striker. <laughs> Absolute ball striker. And that's, that's, I mean, I've hit that really well again. And Come that's on, Josh, you've got, you're buzzing with that. Give me a bit more reaction there, mate. <laughs> I can't wait for you to see that. <laughs> um, this is the thing. If you hit them well, you can play them. Where, how far has it gone? 165. Nah, I, get, get it up, pick it up. Pick I'm it up, telling you. <laughs> I want an adjudication here. Bloody hell. And I, I, look, did it feel good? How did it feel like it to felt, the grip? That felt pure. Do you know what I mean? I think, and this is where, let me put that back down. This is where I feel like if you hit these out the middle and you hit them pure, they go absolutely, distance is fine. Mate, that span of yardage just though is crazy. It is. It is. And the issue is, like I said before, consistency. When I hit that first one slightly off, you can feel it in your hands. Do you know what I mean? Whereas with the, the forgiving irons that I'm hitting uh, regularly, you don't really feel that. You don't get like that yeah. like vibration up the shaft. Would it be fair to say, mate, that you're not as confident when you look down on your Ricky Fowler irons compared to yours? Yeah, hundred percent. I think that that golf is a game of confidence. I've said this on yeah. our podcast. I've said, said this for a while. If you're looking down on a club and you're thinking, "Oh God, oh God, oh God," <laughs> that's not going to bode yeah. well. Do you know what I mean? You, you, you've got a very high chance that you're not going to hit a good shot. And that is the thing with these. They're so thin. Like, so just take a look at these here. These are the two seven irons. These now, are the yeah? two seven irons. So instantly. Instantly just says says less forgiving <laughs> straight away. I want to see that top line. Put and that's, floor. this is the this is the big one. If you're stood over this ball, you've you've seen this this shot a few times now with different clubs, and look how thin that Ricky Flower blade is. It's that top line for me, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like these that, these aren't particularly. That. It's I don't think these are particularly wide. No. In comparison to some clubs, but you compare them to the this one, yeah. it's just ridiculous. So that's a big thing, and that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't think about putting these in the bag because I've got to be on top top of my game to play with them. Like yeah. I've hit these before, and it's gone nothing like this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So whereas with these, I can confidently stand over them and say, right, I'm, I'm probably going to hit a decent shot. All right. No, oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> just a bit of perspective here. Look at the size of the hitting area on this compared to this. If I hold them underneath each other there, pretty big difference. Like, you sort of try and line it up, it's a lot smaller, isn't it? So you think, okay, well that sweet spot is then significantly smaller. Right, mate, take it away. Three, Buzz seven, in. nines. Buzz in. <laughs> <laughs> that seems reasonably pure. Quite happy with that one. Really? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna give away the distance on that just yet. <laughs> Nice, mate. Nice. You're buzzing with that, aren't you? Absolutely buzzing. <laughs> this is not how I thought this video would go. Right, final one. <laughs> Stripe show kinder on the go. Have you been practising? A little bit. I tell you what. This is way closer than I thought you were going to be. Same. That was a stripe show to family. That was really good. So, averages for 9-9, Ricky Fowler. Mate, averages for yours, remember this, was 153 with your 99. Averages for the Ricky Fowler 
152, mate. Ooh, get in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, if this turned out longer, what would you put in the bag? Do you know what? It's one of them where right now I don't think I would because it's all well and good of me standing here and, and striping it, and yeah, I'm, hit, I'm hitting it nice. If you've got today. water in front of me, you'd be like, oh. Do you know, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a different game yeah. playing with them and playing with them regularly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to put this down to a bit of beginner's luck. Not going to lie. Do yourself out of that, mate. Do I know, out of but it. modest, are <laughs> Yeah, right. Um, okay, uh, seven iron. Ricky, uh, yours, yours, drum roll, was 185. Yeah. Ricky Fowler's, this is a lot closer, 178. And just, I mean, the shows the numbers in there, what were they, they were? So 188, yeah. 179, 165. So there's quite still a big, a big span in yeah. there. Um, okay, Which so. I'm shocked at, to be honest. One yard difference between nine iron. Yeah. And nine iron. And there is, you're testing my maths now. Seven. Seven. <laughs> seven yards difference between seven nine and seven nine. So we're now on to this thing. The moment you've all been now, waiting. Now, what, what I write when I look down that is the lack of offset, and the, it feels like the 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 hosel. Like I'm, I'm dying to know what you think on this, but it, it's the hosel into the head just feels like one straight line. Like look at that, right? Look at that, and let me grab your. Where's your four iron here, Josh? Right, just to give a bit of perspective, like look at them up against each other. Can you see how the, how the hosel uh, comes out? It's just, <laughs> it screams of like thinning it in. Like I can feel yeah. my hands vibrating already. Well, then, mate, right, I want to know your verdicts on every single one of these. But your verdict so far, come on. I've enjoyed hitting them, to be honest. Okay. Um, you keep asking me if I'm going to put them in the bag. I think I'm you're just trying to. Put in the bag, I know you do. <laughs> I know you do, but. Hey, if this gets over a thousand likes, Josh has got to play at least one round with these irons. All right, deal. I'll do that. Right, here you go. Four iron. Hit away. It's weird, like looking down on it, the shaft almost looks like thicker because of how small the head Come on, is. Hold that down there so we can see it. Like, it almost looks like here, it <laughs> looks thicker because of how small the head is. And what, what, what would you call this? This is your what? Butter knife. Butter knife. Lovely. Yeah, I, mean, I was buttering my croissant this morning with that. <laughs> you literally could. Right. Insert clip of buttering croissant. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. We need three away. I'm actually dying to see how you hit this because that first one, what did that first one go? Does everybody know? 194 was it again? Yeah, yeah. Now, this could be quite embarrassing for me because if I hit three good ones now and I had to hit a fourth ball with my four iron. So <laughs> we'll see, won't we? Right, come on. Oh, get him in the bag, boy. Get him in the bag. I mean, I've hit that. That felt really nice. And I was, you're almost like anticipating that like vibration, but. How did it feel off the face? It felt good. I felt, I felt like a middle bit. Oh, you just <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> This is not gonna. Oh. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing, but I didn't think this would go like this. I thought this was gonna be like a, a video where everyone could laugh at me thinning the ball. But I am absolutely buzzing that that has just gone a long way because I would love to see him play around. I'll choose like a really nice golf course where he's got loads of pressure. Setting me up. Setting me up. That's fine though. I'll do it. Anything for anything for the content. Come on. Right, okay, so you've got one away. You've actually proven you've hit two decent ones of this now. Yeah. And that was longer, that was longer than the first one you hit at the start of the video. Yes, it was. Okay, second one away. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny because it's almost like not legit. Mate, you want to talk consistency? Uh, you talk, talk to me about Ricky Fowler Irons. <laughs> I'm absolutely crazy with myself right now. Basically, I want to give you a summary of this video. I found this video and we we're going to do it because I thought Josh wouldn't be able to hit them. It's turning out very different. I'm always embarrassed, but that's impressive. It's a consistency, Alex. That's more consistent than you wrote. It is indeed. It is indeed. Right, okay, final one away and <laughs> we'll give these averages. The question is, people are going to go, and you're not a mid handicapper, you've just not, not seen his putting. Yeah. <laughs> ah, there, ah, we go. there it is. <laughs> there it is. You did that on purpose. <laughs> but to be fair, grab another ball. Yeah, that's fine. That went 100 yards. But you had four with yours, so yeah, I did. we need one more. And that's the thing, so there I could feel that in my hands straight away. <laughs> feel the hands? Yes, right. I think, I think everybody in the range over here felt it for you, mate. <laughs> Not a good one. There we go. That's so pure. He's even posing it. You know what? He's even posing it. That is it. so pure. 
and I'll, I'll take that as well. <laughs> I'll take that as well. Um, right. Yeah, so this video's not gone how I planned. Uh, I'm absolutely buzzing about it, but so, wait till you see these numbers. Uh, what is interesting though, though, the height and flight was the same yeah. as yours. Pretty even much. though this is four, I think it's four degrees. Yeah. Week, four degrees weak lofted. Yeah. The height and flight was very similar. I didn't feel like they were stalling. I didn't no. feel like they were particularly going any short. Well, they didn't go, they any, didn't shorter. go any shorter. So let's go and run through these averages. I feel like, like people might think this is not legit. So I'm going to show this full swing number here. So this is carry and the carry on the other one. That last one went 197. The last four iron Joshua hit. The last one went 197. Now, remember your average was 204 with yours. That was 206. Yeah, so Longer hit, by two yards. Yeah, I hit two eleven twice. Yeah, and then one nine seven. Like so, you hit. You put them on the screen here. Yours went one fifty three, one eighty five, two o four. Nine nine of the Ricky Fowlers went one fifty two, seven nine one seventy eight, and two o six with the four iron. But I think something that illustrated well in that those four four irons there is. The one that I didn't hit well yeah. went 100 yards, where yeah. the one that I didn't hit well with uh, my four iron went 150. Yeah, and, and that's the thing of this video, like should a mid handicap golfer use blades? I think the answer to the question is probably a no, but for sure you did way better than I thought. Yeah. And Should Josh use blades? Should Josh use blades? Well, they can decide that. <laughs> Everybody can decide that, mate. But I, honestly, I'm impressed, mate. Fair play. Now, guys, yeah, if you mate. did enjoy this video of Josh trying these absolute butter knives right here up against his forged text, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell because we love making videos like this and putting Josh to test as our mid handicap tester here on the channel. Fair play, mate. I'm impressed. You, you did way better than I thought, and I think everybody who watched this can definitely agree. These things perform much better and much closer to what these are, which are their forgiving, because they're older brother. Yes. Thanks for watching.